I love staying on top of research and pump flange fitting is one of those topics that we need more research on. My name is Julie Matheny. I'm a speech pathologist and IBCLC board certified lactation consultant. And if you follow me for a while, you know that pump flange size is essential to having a comfortable, efficient pump session. Well, I've been looking at the new research, the 2024 research on pump flange fitting. And it is by Jeanette Frem. I actually got to meet her when she was here in Los Angeles. And it is changing and shaping how I practice pump flange fittings with my patients. So in this research, it basically found that smaller is better. And in their research, they recommend measuring the nipple tip. Now, if you follow me for a while, you know that I've been measuring from the base. They recommended measuring from the tip and starting with that size, which means going significantly smaller than we originally thought and trying multiple sizes, which is something that I've always done in my practice as well. So I have been using this for the last two to three months since I met the researcher and have been looking into the study. And what I'm finding is pretty conclusive with what the research has found, although it's a little tweaked, right? Because human anatomy is anatomy. If you've seen one face um, shape, for example, there are so many variations even within that face shape. Same with eyes, the space of the eyes, where the pupils are, how big they are, their shape. Same when we're doing looking at nipples for pump flange fitting. If you've seen 100 nipples, you've seen 100 very different nipples. So I'm now currently using a combination of what I had been doing in practice and using that new research to find that better pump flange fit. So I'm now looking both at the base and at the nipple tip, and I am finding that the most comfortable flange is somewhere in that range. So if the tip measures 10 and the base measures 16, most of those moms are finding the most comfort somewhere between 12, 13, 14, 15, somewhere in that range. And many of them are finding in the smaller diameters the hard plastic to be more comfortable. And if they measure a little bigger than that, 17, 18, 19 range, then some of them like the hard plastic and some of them are still preferring silicone. It really just depends on that unique individual and trying out all of the flanges in that size. So if you are looking to do your own pump flange fitting, I'm now recommending getting both measurements and then starting in that range, trialing a variety of shapes and sizes of those flanges, including pano and crater, and even possibly silicone. We now have more options for silicone flanges and for flange inserts until you find that perfect fit. Now you know. Mm -hmm.